I'm Keith Becker from DD's Rentals. Today let's talk about what items should be in a rental contract. First, absolutely, it should be a written rental contract. Don't rent your property on a verbal contract. I don't care if it's your son, your employee, your best friend from when you were growing up. It should always be in writing because you are running a business. If you do not have a written rental contract, the only thing that you can enforce is the payment of rent. There are no other obligations of the tenant that can be enforced. So get it in writing. Now, I'm going to take an approach because I have, believe it or not, I have four attorneys. And one of them says, without exception, use a pre-formatted uh, rental contract. And there are a variety. You can get ones from, uh, we're in California, you can get one from CAA, California Apartment Association. You can use professional publishing forms. You can use one from NOLO Press. Use a pre-formatted rental contract. Don't try to write this up yourself. And don't try to just insert clauses without running them by an attorney. Because if you insert clauses that you can't enforce, sometimes it can serve to your detriment. So unless you're absolutely sure of what you're doing, use a pre-formatted form and just fill in the blanks. Now, let's talk about filling in the blanks. So let's do that. Make sure you name all adult residents. Anything, anyone 18 or older should be named because from the, state, from the standpoint of law, if they're over 18, they're tenants. They have the rights of tenancy. They might as well have the responsibilities. I would also strongly recommend, you need to put in the number of residents, okay, total, adults and children, I would list who the other underage individuals are. So there's no question of coming and going. Make sure that your contract has a clause in there about no assignment or subletting. So you do not have, for example, a contract that says that Joe Smith is the tenant, there are a total of five individuals permitted to reside at the property and no clarification of who the other four are. Make it clear, make it specific, so that you don't wind up with some unknown person residing at your property. Make sure that the amount, you need to make sure that the amount, amount of the rent is spelled out, okay? That's pretty much a given. Make sure you include the specific street address of the property and make sure you get it correctly. Because if, for example, the property is on, I've got a property on Hood Mountain, Okay? Interestingly enough, there's a property on Hood Mountain Way and there's a property on Hood Mountain Circle, both of which have the same street number. Make sure you get that issue, Way, Circle, Street, Avenue, Boulevard, because in addition to just for accuracy purposes, if you get it wrong, it can throw the legality of the contract into question. Be specific, be accurate.